Hey, Hobby World, Zach and Porter back with episode three, showing off some of the awesome pickups from the Madison Card Show on John Nolan Drive at the Sheridan Hotel. The host is Bo Thompson from One Million Cubs. You can check him out on YouTube. Uh, he does uh, Hobby Evolution every morning, weekday morning. Well, actually, every morning almost, 7 a.m. Central. Uh, great hobby chat, bunch of great collectors there. Uh, and he does the Madison Card Show every month. Next show, September 24th. So this is our third round. Uh, we're going to show off some of our non-dime box pickups here. But they were at the card show still. And we're going to show off some additional dime boxes in the second uh, section. Uh, first off, I want to thank our guy Craig Reese and his son. They set up at the Madison Card Show. And when we stopped by his booth, he actually uh, gave uh, Porter and me a few uh, White Sox, Cubs, and uh, just cards in general. This was a Frank Thomas we did not have. With Rafael Palmeira and John Oler. Yeah, these were from Triple Play. They did these... Uh, these uh, three triple, I don't know what they call, oh, the medalist cards. Uh, so we picked that up. Now, there was another dealer that did um, six cards for five bucks, and he always has vintage football, vintage baseball. And so uh, Porter and I picked up a few here and actually got one Fergie Jenkins uh, that we gave to uh, Bo. I'll show off my two pickups first. I've wanted this card for a long time. Uh, Tim Raines rookie card. I know sometimes the update gets a little more pub because it's his first solo card, but I all absolutely love this card. Big Tim Raines fan. So we got that rookie card for the PC. Additionally, another guy who just had his number retired by the Giants, Will Clark, 1986 Fleer Update XRC. Absolutely love that card. So those were two. And as I mentioned, we got the Fergie. What was it, like a 69 tops? Yeah, or? 69. 69 tops. And you saw this one you wanted to grab for the uh, Steelers PC. Here's a 1980 tops AFC All Pro Franco Harris. So again, a little less than a buck for these. And then these two are awesome. Yes, they the, are. So, the first one jumped out to us, obviously, because yeah, it, of your main PC. So... It's a Jackie Robinson and Stan Musial. I don't know what set this is, but it's just I believe here. I think it's really the TS, cool. TCMA 1977 set. Mm. These are very good condition. A really cool Jackie card and a Stan Musial card. Uh, and then uh, we hit up another few tables. I think some of these were like 50 cents or maybe 75 yeah. cents. You picked out a couple Tatis. Here is a home run challenge Tatis. This was, what is it, 2021 gold yes. foil team card. You can see the rainbow foil there. 2021 Bowman Platinum uh, Andrew Vaughn rookie. These are awesome. Two Terry Bradshaw cards, mosaic. You got That was like green. our last table. Yeah. These, and then, these were 50 cents. And then the Hall of Fame pink. Yeah, you love Terry Bradshaw. In fact, you had some guys rolling when we were just uh, dime boxes. Someone asked. Porter, who's your favorite football player? And I think you shocked a couple other guys around us, because who'd you say? Terry Bradshaw. Yeah, which is kind of shocking to me, too. And then uh, this was the first table we hit up. So I got two packs of 2021 tops, or excuse me, 2022 tops Gypsy Queen. I'm not going to show the base cards, but I will show these four really cool inserts. So this is a blue um, parallel Luis Castillo, numbered out of 250. Then um, a green parallel, Orlando Arcia for the Braves, who actually used to play for the Brewers. Another green, Kettle Marte. And then you really like this last one. It's a um, Gypsy Queen Gems, Ronald Acuna Jr., that is cool. So again, not dime box finds, but some more pickups from the Madison Card Show. We're going to clean this up real quick, and then we'll get into some more of the great uh, bargain box hunting we did. All right, now that we got that cleaned up, we're going to show off our first round of dime box videos. Uh, and as I mentioned uh, to a few friends in the hobby, we batted about 900 when we were picking these out. Yes, we did. For both Porter and my PC. And that sometimes can be hard because, you know, you go to the same dime boxes, you see stuff you're like, did I grab this before? Uh, we did a really good job here. Uh, with picking out and I, I honestly believe for our PCs this was one of our best pickups for cards that we've been looking for I think it was actually our best card show ever yeah and so Jeff one of the guys that we go to at Oak Creek and also uh, to Madison um, he replenished stuff and there are cards in here that I've been looking forever and they just happen to be in there we'll start off with some really cool unique cards for the Bo Jackson PC so this is a whole Bono's set so this is Bono's tennis. Got Bono's basketball, Bono's baseball, 
and we actually almost got the whole set. We didn't get, there's one where he's got the pads on. Obviously, that one probably isn't going to be found in a dime box. And then a football one. Which ones are you going to show next here? So here is Bono's horse racing and Bono's hockey. And it's funny, on Trading Card Database, there's actually now Bo Jackson card where he's on the Montreal Canadiens. So you can look it up by team. Uh, Bono's soccer and Bono's surfing. And then Bono's uh, weightlifting at Bono's bicycling. So these next few, uh, I do have to say the first one wasn't uh, unique to the PC, but the rest of these Frank Thomas cards all are, uh, but I couldn't pass this one up for a dime. Frank Thomas, technically a rookie year card, 1990 classic. I actually had one of those from when I was a kid, but when you see that in a dime box, you got to grab it. Got this collector's choice sticker card, this really cool 1990 tops. It's a, one of these, um, the cards your mom threw out. <laughs> Wait, does it actually say that? Yeah, it does. Look. Wait, let me see. It's the cards your mom threw outside. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. This uh, we had, but it's in a frame. So I wanted to get one for the actual folder. It's a gold hologram. Hey, Dad, why don't you uh, show it up on the floor? Nah, I don't want to try. I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. Okay. I don't want to risk knocking over the camera. Uh, this one, Frank Thomas Stadium Club. I thought we had it, but no, we did not. Again, a dime. This one's not in Trading Card Database, so no way to track it. Another one of those uh, cards from 1992. We've got a 94 Most Valuable Player All-Star card of Frank Thomas. The opening day version of him with the Toronto Blue Jays. Another one of these cool cards. This was the preview. It's uh, It was a preview from the year before. 10th anniversary preview. Uh, and this is one with Manny. A co-stars card. So those were all unique to the Frank Thomas PC. Up next, we got an Albert Bell Stickum card from Collector's Choice. This one, I can't believe was in there. A Julio Franco 1983 Donruss. That is a Julio Franco rookie card. The guy just played forever. Uh, big fan of him from the Junk Wax era. You want to show that one? Yeah. Here's a um, 1987 KB Jose Canseco. Another Jose card, this one from his rookie year as well. This is an 86 League Leaders. Again, all of these are a dime. We did have this, but I always pick up a Rafael Palmero rated rookie for a dime if it's in there. Got a couple unique cards for the Ricky Henderson PC. This is uh, Alan Ginter insert set, What's in a Name? Then here's the 1987 Topps Mini. And that's a that's a wax uh, bottom. Uh, oh, it is? Yeah, from a from a wax box. Juan Gonzalez rookie card, 1990 classic. So that was his rookie season. And then um, why don't we show these like all three together? Because we actually found all of these in the dime box. Yeah, so this one we did not have. Andres Galarraga rookie card. From 86 Fleer. And then Benito Santiago rookie card yeah, from 86 Fleer. We did not have that. We did have the Cecil, but again, for a dime, I'm picking that up all day. Love Cecil Fielder. And then speaking of Andre Scalabraga, here's his 1986 Don Russ rated rookie. So you find these once in a while in the dime boxes too. These are these Drake big hitters. Uh, these uh, first ones are from 1981 tops. Got a Pete Rose. And a Dave Parker. Got a Dave Parker here. Then this is 1980. Oh, no, more of the same. Carl Yastrzemski. Here is a George Brett. And we've got a Rod Carew. And then here's a 1980 Murray. Yep, Eddie Murray. And then the next one you've got, I think that one's from 84, right? Yep, this is Pete Rose. So, uh, showed off a Kevin Mitchell rookie card in a previous video. This one popped up, a 2020 foil of Kevin Mitchell, one of these Donruss cards. Got two Jeff Bagwell, like uh, well, this one's uh, an official rookie card, 1991 Studio with the Glamour Shots. And then this one is a 1992 post-rookie star card of Jeff Bagwell. You pulled this one. It's a Dick Allen, baseball's greatest, sluggers. Now, this uh, is on Trading Card Database. It's a 1989 Randy Johnson. There was a special insert set called the Rookies, and they had a few cards in there, and Randy Johnson was one of them. Again, for a dime, I'm going to take that all day. 
Here is a 1990 Leaf Randy Johnson. That's another one that I wanted for a very long time. Never had it. We did have this one. I knew we had it, but I picked it up anyway. A Randy Johnson 1990 Classic card. Randy Johnson is very underappreciated. So now we're going to pivot into the uh, football portion. I think you found this one when yes, we were I did. through. It's one of these pro flick cards. And I, it's a pop-out. It's a pop-out. It's one of these where you play football on the table with your fr fr friends where you flick the football and the Dion would pop out. It's a foil. Another mini card here of Lawrence Taylor. And then a Derek Thomas card that was a mini. And who, who does it say there at the bottom? Uh, Gail Sayers. Yeah. That, that is crazy. I didn't know this that. Now, we had most of the 1991 Pro Set Heisman uh, cards this one escaped me. I did not have that. And this will go in our Heisman House PC. It's Marcus Allen. And I'm a big fan of the 1,000 Yard Club cards. So we saw these, Marcus Allen and Eric Dickerson, both from, I believe these are 1986 tops. And then here is a 1985 tops Rams team card with Eric Dickerson. Been finding a lot of these where it's like the first, uh, you know, second or third year cards. This is Howie Long, 1987 tops. Two unique PC rookie cards of a Hall of Famer, Junior Seau, 1990 Pro Set, and then 1990 tops. And up next, we've got uh, Bruce Smith, 19, uh, is that 80, uh, 88 tops, correct? Uh, no, I think that's actually 80. No, that is 88. Yeah, 88, Bruce Smith. And then here is a Steve Young from that same set. Now, why don't you show these because you found these. These are awesome. Yeah, so and I've... those are actually the same card number but different variations. Yes, they are. So these are both 2020, or excuse me, 2015 Clear Vision Football. They're acetate. They're both number 31. They're of Lawrence Taylor, but they're of different variations. I've had this one on the want list on TCDB for a while and uh, hoping to find it in a dime box. Jerry Rice, Joe Montana, uh, Super Bowl. Uh, MVP. So just a very cool card for the PC. And from the same set as that uh, Lawrence Taylor. That is so cool. Doug Flutie. I actually found that. It's been a while since we've seen some Hesters we didn't have in the dime box and both of these were new and unique. We've got a Devin Hester Prestige and then we had the score card but we didn't have the score select. So again I think we're number five now on Trading Card Database for Devin Hester collectors. 1988 Tops uh, 1987 NFL scoring leaders, Jim Breach and Jerry Rice. And then we've got an Andre Risen 1990 Tops. If you've watched the channel, you know I'm a fan of Andre Risen. This isn't Andre Risen, though. This is an uncorrected air card. Who uh, is it? You know what? I can't remember the name. Uh, somebody will correct me. Maybe Brian Bear cards. But yes, this is an uncorrected air card. Uh, that is not Andre Risen. Now, that's really cool. 1985 top sticker, Warren Moon. And this is a rookie card. Yeah, so it's a, it's a rookie year sticker. Again, I'm trying to do Victor the rookie card specialist justice. It's not his rookie card, but it's a rookie year card. Got one of these Derek Thomas 1991 Stadium Club uh, charter member cards. We did not have that. Then uh, Ronnie Lott, 1987 tops. Interception leaders there with Daron Cherry. And you wanted to show off this next one because we picked up a couple of these, but we're only showing yeah. the Randall. These are really neat. These are, I think, action packed and they're silver. And then turn it around in the back, there's Randall Cunningham. Just a couple more here. 1992 Pro Set. This is Dion Sanders. Didn't have that in the PC. And then why don't I show these last two? Because these are from the same set. I don't know what year score these are. But it's a Jonathan Ogden and Mike Alsot um, rookie uh, year when they were in their college uniform. Yeah, so those are both rookie cards. Alsot is an awesome back from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And here, I'll show the Ogden again. Ogden actually went into the Hall of Fame the same year as Larry Allen, two great offensive linemen. Hard to believe you can get a NFL Hall of Famer rookie card in a dime box. So yeah. that is uh, episode three of our fun time at the Madison Card Show. Uh, you can check it out, I think the next show, September 24th at the Sheridan on John Nolan Drive. We will have another episode coming up where Porter yes. is gonna show off, because uh, he, he brought more home from the tie box than I did. Uh, just some absolute steals. Uh, just a great time had by all. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Bye-bye.